It's Mom and Pop Video Shop. Welcome to the Mom and Pop Video Shop. I am Joel. And I'm Tyson. And we are here with another retro movie review and another non-horror movie. Yes. Which I know Tyson uh, is utterly shocked by. Uh, but we, pleasantly surprised. Yes, because well. he so so letting the cat out of the bag. We may have started recording this. He didn't know what I was doing. He was pleasantly surprised. So we got like a very natural reaction. Who knows? Maybe I just flashed that on screen momentarily. But the audio was not on the way it's supposed to be on. So now we're redoing the whole. And thing since we doing. probably won't be able to be as funny in this take, maybe we as if we're funny in any of the we takes. could cut in some of the really funny yeah. stuff. Like yeah, the yeah. Really, I mean, we're talking like 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 literally the best material humor. on YouTube. Yes, like exactly. uh, hands down. They say you're full of crap. <laughs> but we are doing for this, as you know from the thumbnail and the title, we are covering 1988's Ba 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 Boom. We know what hot dogs are made out of, right? Lips and assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> yeah, so Great Outdoors 1988, off the back of the box. When an unannounced, uninvited, and unwelcome family of fun-loving misfits converge upon a lakeside resort to join their relatives for a summer of relaxation, the result is anything but restive in this raucous comedy starring Dan Aykroyd and John Candy. It's a vacationer's worst nightmare as Wheeler Dealer Aykroyd, his sexually repressed wife, and, just so you know, on the back of the box says Ann instead of and, but that's, I will set that aside for a moment, and eerie twin daughters, and in quotes, join... <laughs> The easygoing candy and his straight-laced clan for a season of fun in the sun. Unfortunately, the only thing these two in-laws have in common is their intense dislike for each other. Soon, it's brother-in-law against brother-in-law in an uproarious and hilarious fight to the finish to see which one really knows how to enjoy the great outdoors. I will say I also don't agree with that. I don't think Roman dislikes Chet to the degree that Chet dislikes Roman. Oh, yeah, of course. Especially given... The ulterior motive. Yes. Yeah. No. 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 I Not think. Oh, I think he's much. an. I think Roman's an opportunist. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think. I think Chet greatly resents him. And that's why. So in our earlier, well, Roman, you can just tell Roman's the kind of guy that's like clueless. I think about yeah. a lot of stuff, and Chet is not. So yeah. Yeah, Roman's one of those guys, in my opinion, who just kind of goes through life and is is un is unaware of how much he comes across as just this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, it, I was going to say douche. Uh, or douche, whatever. Um, and he just... Asshole douche. Yeah, ass douche. Yeah. Which, you know, sometimes you gotta. Is that a thing? You know, it's funny. In our other review of this <laughs> that we are recorded, he made the comment that he thinks this is John Candy at his most lovable. To which I countered with uh, Del Griffith uh, from Plain Series and Automobiles. And then I said... <laughs> <laughs> Who's Harry Crumb? <laughs> no, I uh, I would agree with the, the Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. But... Uh, only because, again, of the last, sort of that last. And I will last. say, I think John. I think throughout this, yeah, the Chet character is lovable and huggable. He throughout. is, but I will say, even though Roman is a total tool, a lot. I think due to his, it's a lot. Of, a lot of it comes down to intention, right? Like some people are just oblivious to how they come across, mm -hmm. and I feel like I know what you're saying, the, and I think that's and, and I think, but in a weird way, like Chet can sometimes come across as the bad guy, mm -hmm. even though it's like the thing where you're like yelling, everybody, like, what well, doesn't everybody else see with this guy? Like the Emperor's new clothes, like, can everybody else see? And then, but you end up looking like the crazy guy, yeah. even though you're not wrong. I think it's you hit just, the nail on the head. I think that's part of why this movie's so good. Too, yes, is, is you talked about intention and. Yeah. At the end of the day, they're both loving, caring husbands yeah, and fathers. Yeah, that's what it is. They, they, they gave I mean? them enough dimensions, especially the Roman character. Very easy to make him super one-dimensional. Yeah. But Dan Aykroyd is Dan Aykroyd. And I, like I said, for me, Race Dance, Ghostbusters for you. Uh, Elwood. Elwood yes. Blues. Blues from the Blues yeah. Brothers. They have no taste at all. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure we'll review Blues Brothers. And well, th yes. there may be where there may be an episode where we might separate in if our you, opinions. If you go to prison, I am not picking you up and in a taking me as part police of your, car that I uh, traded a microphone for. Okay, being so chased by Nazis. Yeah, whatever. you can find somebody else. Um, so great outdoors. Um, it's a classic in my opinion. Me too. And and not just of the eighties. Like, I think this is and part of it. Look, yeah, if I'm being honest, part of it is I was like twelve when this movie came out. Mm -hmm. But it's just a fun movie. Oh, it holds up. It holds up. You can watch it. Because I watched it a couple years ago. Because I really would like to watch it again now that mm -hmm. I've done this. Um, 
it's just a fun movie. There's just so many like moments in it. Was it the old 76er? Is that the 96er? 96er. I'm sorry. The old 96er. I don't want to take away how many ounces he ate. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing left on that plate but gristle and fat. <laughs> yeah. He just looks. <laughs> Yeah, and then they go, oh, look at all the maggots. And the- so that scene, the blooper, do you remember the blooper in that scene? No. So if you watch, uh, uh, the camera's outside of the cabin, oh, they go in, and saying. you can see Dan Aykroyd right. counting down. That's right, so yeah, he goes, three, he's like, two, one. Yeah. Ah! Yes, yeah. you're right. I do. I Now that you bring it up, I completely brain farted on We're it. We're always happy to fill your heads with mindless trivia. <laughs> yes, like that. But Video yeah, there, you can actually see him like in the background doing that. Yeah. That and the uh, the bat that gets oh, out of their the dress. My great. sister and I do that all it buzzed me. It's uh, it's, it's about a three footer. <laughs> yeah, it's about a three footer. And then the, the raccoons with their yeah. subtitles and yeah, and and the the you, you know hot dogs, what they're made out of. Lips and <laughs> salt. Dude, there's just so many great moments. You bastard! The one you said you, faster. You, faster. <laughs> I think he wants to go faster. faster. Like, oh, okay, okay, oh, 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 he's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah, go. yeah, yeah. And I also uh, and I don't remember the actress's name, but the one who plays the townie. That the oldest son is into. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I may have had a little, you know, twelve, thirteen year old crush. Yeah, I think everybody, everybody yeah. did. And what so, did she work at? Like A and W root beer, it like was a, something she, like that. It was like a, it was like a Dairy like Queen, a drink, but yeah. it wasn't a Dairy Queen. Yeah. So, but yeah, I will also say on the back of the box it says when an unannounced, uninvited, unwelcome family of fun-loving misfits converge on a lake. So it makes it sound like that's John Candy's family, but his family is like this most like, like milk, like regular, exactly. normal suburban family. Exactly, it's Roman, and honestly, that has nothing to do with the Lakeside Resort. Those people don't care. I think it's Candy, <laughs> Chad, yeah. who cares? Oh, in 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 the head. Six times. Six times. It's one of those movies where you make quotes about it, and those who have seen it get it. Those who don't think there's something wrong. I mean, that's the thing. We could sit here. Oh God, it's It's very quotable. It. I feel like it deserves to be in the pantheon, and I know this is going to be heresy to some. Of like. Va- the OG Vacation, oh, one hundred percent, yes, 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 and yes, all yes. of those movies. <clears throat> Even though it doesn't get the same amount of love, because I think it came out enough after all of those. I, I, again, I'll say my favorite John Candy movie is The Great Outdoors. Mine's Planet Trains, but this is up there. This is definitely up. Mm-hmm. if I'm going to go more pure. Because Planet Trains is kind of like a almost a, it's a comedy, but it almost at times like a dramedy. Like it's it's got like this heart to it that. No, I get that, and yeah. I think for me, part of it too is I preferred. Dan Aykroyd is a comedic actor over Steve Martin. Oh, that's I, a personal. That, that's a thing that's too. a hot take. I know. Okay, I'm just saying. I, I, I like them both. To each their own. I just I, I love this. Yeah, yeah, great outdoors. So uh, obviously in the comments below, let us know. But before we do that, um, I don't even know why. I, they, I always feel like there should be certain episodes like why bother doing a, a, a yeah. tape rating because uh, duh, what is it? It's a five taper for me, but I'm gonna add one more thing. Okay, to how how important this movie is. Um, the last really bad hurricane that we had come through okay, here, yep. I had my entire family come to my house just mm-hmm. to be safe. And yeah. I'm talking brother, sister, no, not brother, sister, but, but mom, <laughs> dad, grandma, grandpa, everybody. And just to kind of like ease the tension before we lost power, we watched The Great Outdoors. And you know what we watched? <laughs> crawl. <laughs> we did. I hear my kids what crawl. Kind, what kind of? And, we, and the best part is we have lakes with gators that are literally right like in, in vicinity of our house. That's sick, man. And it was right before the power went out. We finished crawl. That's disgusting. Hey, I was just if you're gonna to, go out, go out. I was like trying a, to lighten the no, mood I'm a little like, bit. Crawl. Although Great Outdoors does have that uh, kind of creepy, the, like the last act. Remember with the rainstorm in the cave? Oh and yeah, yeah. It's so, like it's a, although it's uh, a little, the other 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 one of my favorite moments, and it always gets very time. The lamp. No, when when he goes in to tell his two twins. Who never <laughs> the the story right. of the family? Good evening. How's it going? Listen, girls. Uh, as your father, I feel it incumbent upon me to set the record straight on the validity of the tale which Uncle Chet shared with us this evening. I know that a terrifying story like that coming from the mouth of a recognized authority figure could be traumatizing for kids like yourselves. I know that because I had a similar experience with my Uncle Roy in a story he used to tell about a family that went into the woods and was attacked by a band of escaped army psychiatric patients who'd been subjected to violent, hellish, torturous behavior modification experiments. Seems they escaped from the metal boxes the army kept them in, found this family in the woods, fell upon them, slaughtered them and ate them. Oh, now that story, 
Okay, gave me nightmares not to be believed, so I don't want Uncle Chet's bear story to upset you in the same way. So I'm here to say that there actually is no bear, and that all of what Uncle Chet was saying was just a yarn, spinning for our entertainment, and even if there were a bear out there, I'm in the house to protect you. So, um, no more thinking about bears, all right? No more thinking about unpleasant things. We're gonna close our eyes and dream about nice things, about cuddly, soft, fluffy things. Okay? Super. Good night. Sleep tight. I love it. I just love this movie so much. I yeah, it's too. a five taper for it's me great, too, hands down. For sure, it's one of the great com '80s comedies, but comedies in general. It, yes, it holds up really, yeah, really well. It's also like a, it's like a, it's like a warm cup of like a chicken soup too. Like, wait, you just have it on the background. Yeah, it's like you can watch this with the yeah. kiddos. There's just enough like adult, adult stuff, stuff in to there keep that you entertained, obviously. exactly. And, and and but the kids will dig it too. Oh, totally, yeah, it's that yeah. kind of movie. But it's right. all, but it's also like an eighties PG. Where why don't you Why don't you just blow the whole family out your ass, Dad? Nobody <laughs> is blowing anybody <laughs> out of their ass. Oh, blow it out your ass! Great outdoors. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. Below or below, or below. either one, and let us know what you think of this. Uh, in our opinion, comedy classic. So, until next time. Visits here in the shop. Remember, the mama pops our love of. Because I still want to be friends. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Never stops. Plus, you would seem like a really horrible person if you didn't actually like that movie. No, oh, I love it too. It's a five taper for me. I just like John Candy and Great Outdoors. Blow it out your ass, Roman. Never stops. Mom and pops, video show.